Well, you're back. You're in New York now? He's back, baby. Bro, I'm back in the big city. The city where you go outside, you're already spending money. You heard? <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> I oh, can't man. breathe without spending a dime. Bing bong, you feel man, me? Man, that shit crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I literally was going to my butt, going to a men's league game last night. I wasn't even going to like play because my back had been messed up for the last couple months. Literally walked outside, got a city bike. Ten dollars. City bikes are supposed to be like four dollars, right? And they upcharge them. Even Maybe less. people aren't I mean, using like- them. I yeah. was like, Ooh. I'd be like, look, if you want to pay me to not take a cab, like if you if, if you want me to not like take a car or something, like it's got to be a price difference. Yeah, I can't be like, oh, two two bucks off. You know what I mean? Like you could Dude, probably the get there, price probably like- get there for twelve bucks in a cab. Facts. Ten bucks in a bike. That's all I'm like, Ten yeah, bucks in a bike. Doing? I'm yeah. like, nah, no, it's not worth it. Oh, they're, people are they're gouging us because like the Ubers are so damn expensive, bro. Like. Yeah. Yeah, like times two because it's like, oh, we got to pay the Uber drivers because of COVID. So we're going to upcharge you double, basically. So it's like, what do you want to do? If you can't do a bike, you're not going to walk. It's cold. And what do you want to do? Subway? All this COVID in the city? You think I want to go on the subway? You're out of your damn mind. You are out of your damn mind. New Yorkers, fuck COVID. I just don't want to see those <laughs> people on a good day. Oh, <laughs> those, you don't want to see those giant rats <laughs> eating Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I see a grown-ass man scurry across my feet. I'm going to kick that motherfucker. And he goes in the track. Eh. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Chief. <laughs> For real, Yo, I feel that. Uh, hey, uh, but um, let, let's get to the nitty-gritty of it, man. Um, yeah, there's been some shit. Uh, we've definitely had it. some shit happen. I mean, I know, shit has happened. I know we want to talk about Jake Paul and Dana White. You know we're gonna talk about Antonio Brown. There's got to be a few other things out there that I'm. Man. What's off the top of my head? I'm trying to think here. What what else we got going on? We got. Uh, I want to hear what you got to say. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Of, of, I mean, we got we got a lot of things on the table. For real, for the, the top of my head, I want to just congratulate my boy right here because he he called he called on the uh, the Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals. Oh. Yo, he did. He, he called them at the very he very did. beginning. I'm talking about like around draft time, like very beginning. It was talking about this shit, but hey, you did that shit. They did that shit. Honestly, hey. look, I that t- I, you know what is I'm funny? Not mad at that. No, yeah, we. I think all of us. I think we talked shit on the show. I know we talked shit on Sunday school and on Doctor Football about how at the time Jamar Chase over Penny Sewell was an awful pick. Crazy. Right, like we yeah. were like the last thing this team needs is another wide receiver. They need this, this, and that. And now, if anything, they've shown that they have the cornerstones to be like one of the best offenses in the league moving forward for like the next five to ten years. For a very long. Time. And, in uh, the league, he says. But, well, I mean, I don't look if they if if you go into next year, you add a couple of linemen to that. What's to stop them? Scary. What's to stop really, them? Really, Seriously. That's all we've been talking about. We're like, damn, they should have just got someone either on the offense or defensive line just to be right? like, not a, even so much of a, a game changer, but just a staple. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Someone you feel comfortable, a safe little bit. But hey, they, they went out and they got them one. But I did call that he needed some familiarity around him. So He did. That's, mm-hmm. all, and that, and that, that's all I'm going to say about that. And part they right look there. very familiar with each other out there. That's what they have <laughs> Do <said>. they? <laughs> I didn't know that they were that tight on and off the field, though. I really didn't know that. Like, they real deal like homies and shit. So, like, I guess that works, too. But my, my, boy, my boy is back smoking his cigar and all that shit. It's, it's real <laughs> lovely out here. Yeah, it's real lovely out here. <laughs> Yo, I was just like... Because when we were talking about this, and I'm just like, I was kind of siding with just a little bit, but I was also thinking like, yo, Ravens are still the Ravens, though. They're looking. So they had the injuries, right? They did and I'm like, yo, Justin, you might be right on this, but like, fucking Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson's still doing his thing. So I'm like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? So I said, you know what? Let me put Ravens first, then put the Bengals, and that was on me. Because it's funny, because I remember I've been talking this whole time, saying, like, they're so hot, they might be starting up the season off too hot with all the injuries they have. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So I was like, I don't and know. It, it just sucks it really went downhill, like, with right. Lamar, what, three weeks now? Yeah. Almost a month. You know what I'm saying? It's not like Huntley hasn't been holding it down, but it's like, damn. He kind of has been. He's been balling. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's not like he hasn't been holding it down, but it's like, damn, bro, <laughs> you're not Lamar. You know what I no. mean? 
Like, Definitely you're, not. You're not Lamar. And it sucks. I hope my boy gets back right. LJ. I mean, look, I I, I was actually I, I ne- I'm usually never rooting for the Ravens, but like this is a team that like they kind of got me on their side a little bit this year because like they lost their three starting running backs. By, by like three weeks into the season, they had lost their three starting cornerbacks. Like this, this team basically had nothing. They had nothing, and then just fought all year. They clawed. Really? So, I don't know, Shouts man. Shouts out to them. Boy. Yeah, you know what I'm I like them. I, I, yeah. I, they, they still found a way to win games. They were a tough team, and I think they're what they're mathematically eliminated now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, we won't be seeing they them in the playoffs. Uh, so I believe we were talking about it. The way the AFC is shaping up right now, um, top seed is still up for grabs. Right now, it's the Titans. Yep. We got the Chiefs. We got the uh is it Bengals three? Bengals has to be three. Bengals three and Bills four. Patriots are five, I think. I think it I think it goes right Bengals. Yeah. yeah, then it goes but the Bills, then Patriots. Yeah, Bills yeah. and Patriots. So yeah. Uh Bills and Patriots. And then right now I think it's Indy and, and Chargers for the last two spots. On that bubble. Right. Yeah. Um so I you know, I, I'm actually really looking forward to this year's playoffs. I really am. I, I, I like the extra week that they gave us. I, I, I like, I like the it a lot. Week that the NFL gave uh, us, man. I got to say, if, if I'm picking a team to come out of the AFC, I think it's the Titans. That's, and that's exactly I what I was talking the Titans. about, Gordon, about, man. Like, I personally, I don't see any team that really could win it on the AFC like side. But I just keep looking at the NFC and I'm like, damn, these guys actually have like rosters and like good coaching, game plans, all mm-hmm. that stuff put into place. But I've seen time and time again that the Bills got exposed. You know what I'm saying? Time and time again, the Colts, the Pats have been exposed. Right. The Chiefs have been exposed. So it's like, and I want to, I really, really, really want to give like the benefit of the doubt to the Bengals. But my whole thing is that they're just too young. That's right. my only I thing. I think they're a year or two away Facts. from being like a legitimate That's contender. That's my only yeah. thing. And otherwise, like, I would be like, yeah, I can see like one of those two from the AFC. But I just, I just see uh Oh, this guy right here, Aaron. I just see Aaron. Aaron uh, yeah. I see Aaron or Tom taking that shit, bro. I think it's going to be a, a Packers Titans Super Bowl. I wouldn't be mad at that. I wouldn't be mad. Yo, you know what hey, the Super Bowl is? You're, 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 you're getting aggressive. All right, Packers Titans. I don't like, think that's crazy. They're, they're the I two mean, number one seeds. I, I'm not even going out in a limb. Who are you going to pick from the AFC? <laughs> Who? I'm not even stretching. I took the safest pick. I picked both the one seeds. <laughs> I was about to say you did pick the one seed. I don't. I, I just don't see it. I mean, I've been. I mean, I low key been chirping the Titans probably since Derrick Henry has been hurt because the tie the Titans. He's come are back, a team though, that literally need yeah. they they've been literally needing everybody. Right? What happens the first time they had a bunch of main injuries? They lost the Jets. And then they got everyone back. They started winning again. They lose Derrick Henry. They, they start looking fake good. You know what I'm saying? They were a very fake good team for most of the season. But now Derrick Henry, right? He's taking a long time. Still top six in the entire nation for rushing yards. No one has touched out. his shit, bro. No one's touched it. He's Man, still going out. In like five, six games, no one has touched his shit. That's He's crazy. So good. I got to give this man his flowers. Hold on real quick. I give that man his flowers right here. That is some impressive shit. How you know how tough it is? Bro, to I want to just a soundboard. You you know how impressive it is to maintain <laughs> that fucking yards and then have those many bodies on your fucking resume as he oh, does? Yeah. The oh, mean yeah. ass stiff arms. And then still no one has touched your shit? Nope. Not even on the team, the league? Yeah. Shout out to In you, the Derek entire Henry. league. Shout out to you, Derrick Henry. That's Bama built. Bro, Derrick Henry is just a monster. He is a monster. Uh, you know, and honestly, I, I I like him. I think he's a great player. I like the way he handles himself. I like the way he t- it takes over. And so it's like, honest is what I think. Because he's coming back, it gives them another edge because now they have, like, more of a full team because right. they start doing little things. Um, who is Julio Jones? Again, I don't know. The line's getting healthy again, too, just to let you know. The Lions? No, the, the line. Offensive line? Oh, the yeah, line. Was I was just like, no, no, no. Fuck the Because you're like the Lions. I said, who? Yeah, that's what I was like. Just... I heard you say Lions. I was like, no, the line, bro. This is a line. Yeah. But yeah. the offensive yeah. line being healthy with their assets being good from a receiver standpoint, that's um, it's all going to be all, all well and good. I've had Ryan Tannehill on my bench for fantasy all season, <laughs> and he has not performed that well at all. 
So I'm hoping with all their assets in, they're afraid of Derrick Henry again, so they can actually make maybe make some passes. It'll be good to go. So who knows? I do. I still don't think they're gonna go to the Super Bowl. I think the Chiefs have a better chance of going to the Super Bowl right. than the Titans. Mm, right. Don't want to see a Chiefs Super Bowl. I don't want. I want them going back. I, I could care less. That's thing. As soon as they go back, next thing you know, Mahomes' his brother starts dancing again. I don't want to see that. You think anyone wants to see that? No. You kidding me? His parents probably don't even want to so see that. Are you kidding me? Annoying, bro. Real <laughs> Can't talk. stand that. that. So annoying. I just see him and his wife, and I'm like, ugh. So, and, and like, well, what's, what's, God. No, I was just going to say, like, so the Chiefs, to me, are a fake team. They're still a fake team. Now, look, I don't mean that Mahomes isn't great. I don't mean that Tyreek Hill Kelsey isn't great. I, like, that You're offense isn't great. Let's talk about that yeah. defense. That defense is not great. And in that seven-game stretch that everyone was like, oh, they're back. That defense is back. Look at the way they're playing. Look at yeah. the stats. They played bums. Bums, 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 bums for seven weeks at home for, like, five of them. And everyone was like, oh, look at Kansas City, look at Kansas City. And then they go to Cincy. Yep. Joe Burrow lights them up. Okay, before that seven-game stretch, they were getting lit up. This is not a championship defense. It really isn't. So, like, if you have a good defense like the majority of these teams in the AFC playoffs do, I mean, the Titans got a legit defense. The Bills, the Patriots, right. the the, the uh, Colts, legit defenses, right? So. Right. If you can slow down that Chargers offense, you can put up points against them. I, I'm not saying that they're not a Super Bowl contending team. I just do like they are. I don't know. I just would be very surprised. It's if, like it's like how the saying goes. You know, offense wins games, but defense wins championships. Mm-hmm. But like, it's cool. Like they are winning the games, but when it's getting time for them to play in the Super Bowl to get that championship, you won't have enough people on the back end <laughs> to support you or to stop the other team from the NFC who has just been putting up absolutely monstrous numbers no matter who they play against. You know what I'm saying? It's going to happen. It's inevitable. You know what I'm saying? So, like, there's nothing that they can do now to stop that bleeding. So, if they make it, it's going to be all for not, I see. And that's what I'm saying. I don't take any team in the AFC. I just really believe in the NFC because the NFC is fucking tough. The NFC is fucking tough, but I, I really have no say on the AFC, so I could even pick one if you ask me. Like, yeah. Straight up. So did you guys think it's the year of the NFC? It's the year of the NFC. I think it is the year of the NFC, too. For sure. They've been all looking good, man. Like, all the teams, like the top teams, even some of the bottom tier teams have been looking like, oh, shit. Like, I can see this happening. You know what I mean? I know. There's just so much opportunity with the teams. And you know me. I've been been team Rams all season. Team Stafford, team Cup all season. Right. Like, I guess it really depends on how well they all play together. And... Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are just so dominant. I don't want to see them there, but I, I can see them pooching it somehow in the NFC Championship or something like that. So? But I can. I, I wouldn't. The thing is, like, right? You, you're so dominant. But in the back of my mind, it says, you know, Aaron Rodgers could easily lose his championship game just to like spite the Packers. You know what I'm saying? But think about Rome that. Goes through Lambo. In the NFC, the road like, that's that's a fact. Yeah. After that win on Monday, the road goes to Lambeau, and the only team that I remember in my life beating them was the team that beat Tom when we had a perfect, uh, not so much perfect. We don't we don't talk about that. You we know don't, what we I'm don't, saying? That's we, I just we don't, we, don't, we don't talk about that season here. Okay, I just saw hey. that last episode, man. In the arena, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's but for real. Like back to my point. Like that's the last team that I saw go into Lambeau and actually get the job done, and then from that point on still continue to do what they have to do. And if uh, a team goes into Lambeau and beats Aaron in this fucking unprecedented season that he has with Aaron Jones in the backfield and with Vontae at wideout, that's going to be an impressive-ass team, and they deserve to fucking win if that happens. But I don't see anybody going to Lambeau and shutting the boys out. But honestly, I think, I mean, Arizona, when Arizona and the Packers played this season, that was such a good game. I thought that was all around such a good game, and I feel like the game ended the way it did because there was a lot of mistakes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Facts. It wasn't because people were making bad plays. There was legit, legit mistakes that people saw, people did, and it just, it just didn't come out the way they should have. So, right. I don't know. Arizona could give them a run for their money. Um, and Justin, you called that too. I wasn't really bought in Arizona at the beginning of the season, uh, but I, I think, and I think the. Uh, 
I think the Rams have a shot. But like I said, I don't Matt Stafford, he's been high, but he's also been pretty low in some yeah. cases where he shouldn't have been. So and that consistency kind of scared me a and bit. It's but it's scary okay. because like you just said, they have a fucking team that has a defense, like an actual legitimate defense behind them. So they could do that type of shit. Even with him, Stafford playing a shitty game, like he did this past Sunday, they still managed to come back and win. Still managed. Because of the defense, you know what I'm saying? Like they yeah. did put up the points, but the defense had to stop them a lot of the drives. Yeah. That's all I got to say about it. No, nah, yeah, the Arizona Cardinals, honestly, are – you mentioned them a minute ago, Gordon. That's one of my surprise teams right now because that's a team that like is just keeps playing well, keeps winning games no matter who they're missing, like who's mm. hurt. Like, so that's a team that I think is going to be a little bit tough. Like you said, they gave Green Bay like a run for their money. They did. Uh, but I mean, I you know as much as I love Tom Brady and the Bucks, I'm sorry, I don't think you're going back to the Super Bowl. Uh, I really think it's I think it's a three man race right now in the NFC. I think it's a three man race between uh the Packers, the Cowboys, and the Cardinals. I really do. Uh and I mean it's not really going out on a limb again, but like I think those are the only three teams that, that, that could come out of there. But like, bro, Tom Brady had a legit opportunity. He had a legit chance. And I mean, like, I, we could go on this tangent. We could not go on this tangent. But you know what? We, we going to go on this tangent. You're talking Look about at this man. man. Yeah. <laughs> he had all the targets in the world, all yeah. the assets that he could possibly use to win this year. It couldn't have been better. What happens? Godwin gets hurt. All right. Okay. All right. Godwin gets hurt. Honestly, he's had a very okay season. But him and his presence being there makes a huge difference. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we got and it. so him not being there, that stinks. A B, he's been a little bit injury prone, coming in and out, having that force with those with uh, what's been going on with his health, um, and trying to force him play and whatnot. Y'all saw what happened last weekend. Y'all saw they were losing to the Jets. I mean, honestly, I'd probably lose my mind too if I was losing to the J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. You know what I'm saying? But but did you hear what would have happened on the sideline? See, like everyone's trying to be like, oh, he lost his mind. What's he doing? He was so close to getting his money. Apparently, from I mean, I'm trust me, I've been trying to look at this all day. Apparently, Arians was like, get in the game, like go in the game. And AB was like, no, I'm not going to. I, I don't feel 100%. I'm not going to do that. There's no point. And so, Aaron was like, either you get in the game or you're off the team type stuff. And he was just like, and you know, when it comes to AB, you give this man an opportunity to act up and go crazy, he's going to take that opportunity. He said, like, you know what? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're I like cool. you, looking like Tom. Fuck you, fuck you. Oh I'm not. <laughs> pads. Throw the pads in the crowd. Throwing his shirts everywhere. Taking his uh, gloves off. I'm out. I'm out of here. I don't need that million dollars catching one more ball. I don't need it. I'm gone. I'm a super gremlin. Like, so that's a B in his, in his craziness. Granted, I, I, you can't completely put all the craziness on him. It is some, there's obviously some inner team works that made it a little bit more difficult, but AB is still a nutcase. So whether whatever he needs to get him in a better place, but honestly, no idea if we'll ever play in the league again. And secondly, I got to congratulate Mike Tomlin for being able to handle that for as many years as he did. Think about that. Think about how many years he had to deal with AB and kept it in house. He didn't even let the craziness didn't even come out. Until he was gone, he kept all that craziness in house. Well, you know what happened, right? <laughs> what happened? It's uh when he was coming over the middle, this guy named Vontez Burfick, yeah, oh. decapitated him. You think that? You think that changed? Dead body. Dead what? body. What? You think that changed everything? What the? Yeah. Yeah. I that remember. Yeah. Down the middle. Didn't see shit. Oh, I remember that play. The other it. way, bro. I remember. That's yeah. That's what I'm gonna say. It's Vontaze perfect. That's why fucking Juju came over the middle and got him back and got his shit back in blood. On perfect. That's the whole reason why this shit's happening. That's exactly why this shit's happening. AB was a character, mind you. This dude is coming from CMU, Central Michigan University. That is not big time, guys. No. 
That is not Michigan Wolverines or Sparty, the Michigan State Wolver- I mean Michigan State Spartans. Like that is not big time no. at all. No. He had you there you can probably see one picture of him when he has his little grills and smiling. That's about it. Why? Because that motherfucker's from Hollywood, Florida. That's just what they do in Florida. He didn't start acting out until he got smacked in the cranium, bro. Until he got fucking blessed over the middle. Damn. Yeah, I He guess. didn't start acting like this. And then people would be like, oh, well, what's going on with him? Go look at that film. And then go look at all his actions after that and tell me those things don't coincide with each other. Real talk. Tell me they don't. I, you know, I never thought of I mean, I didn't really think about it like that, but I guess you're right. You that could was definitely be right. first thing I thought. When I saw my boy, what was it, like two, three years ago now, came out with a, a, a music video mid-season, doing all this shit, just farting in front of the fucking doctor while he's getting fucking therapy. I said, oh, yeah, this is CTE. <laughs> it has to be CTE. No, there's no, no I, other No, I know, but now like, that I'm thinking about it, I mean, <laughs> he has just been crazy. It's just like, it's not like it, it just it, came it, out it, of it, nowhere. You know what I mean? The guy's brain, that guy's brains is mush. Granted, he did, you know, play in Michigan, like you said. And, you know, I mean, I was in Africa. I didn't see many scores, but I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Steve and his Michigan Wolverines getting that L uh, and not making a national championship. I'm not I'm not trying to side talk or talk about college football, but, you know, shout out to your favorite team losing. So, all right. Yeah. So back to Tom Brady. Uh, <laughs> part of the losing team too, man. Fuck it. We gonna ride together. We gonna die together. <laughs> hey, man. Look, real quick. What I'm gonna say about that shit is, at least we didn't only score six points. That's it. At least, at least we didn't score six points. There's not. Much, there's not much more I can say about that game, but we didn't score yeah. six points, man. Fuck. It's just like that. Alabama almost lost to. Um, Auburn to not be in the playoffs and now they're about to win. Remember that? You feel I mean, me? That's so, that's no, so fucking insane. Yeah, I remember that. Georgia's defense is so whack. I mean, I'm not trying to go crazy, but Georgia's defense is so whack that it's it got so exposed when they played last time that Alabama's just going to walk all over them and it's over. So, I mean... Well, we were just looking it up and Georgia's, Georgia's favored by three points. By three. That doesn't... What sense? Georgia's, favored? Georgia's yes, favored? Georgia's favored by three shot? points. You see what the is, shot? That's what was me too. He was like, oh, no, they got to be like four or five underdogs. And I was like, nah, I'll say about like four point underdogs. Look at this shit. Dude, Three point no. favorites, bro. Bama, Bama's 100% going to win this game. And unless they make some major defensive changes, they're not going to be keep up. And it's the DBs. It's the DBs and they are getting destroyed, mushed. They look like rookies. It is embarrassing. Oh, no, and no, no. They look like freshmen. We can't say rookies. That, that would be oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like fresh meat. That's what they look like. You're going to fucking roll tides to that <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't want an Alabama championship. I'd rather have a Michigan championship, but damn. So, yeah, really, though. It like, is what it is. It's the but again, shout out to the losing, so it's fine. Fuck off, uh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> But the Tom Brady, man. Buddy has no assets. You know, he has Mike Evans, it's who's exciting. a good target, it's gonna be but tight. that dude needs someone else distracting. He's he's not going to be two guys. It's going to be tight. He's not central. being two dudes. It's going to be tight and central. It's going to have to be tight and central. I don't even know if Cameron Brate's back. Um, I don't know. I don't know if even OJ, OJ Howard, is on yeah. the team anymore. I have. I don't no, even know. I don't know. I don't That's know. why I was like, I was kind of scared to say it because I was like, I haven't heard about they him. They got to implement like a three tight ends. <laughs> They're going to have to. They're going to yeah. have to bring it back to the New England days, yeah, buddy. Exactly. <laughs> like, there's no other way that they can do that shit. Granted, the only thing they really do have going for them, they have a pretty solid defense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, that's about it. But, um, but that secondary could get lit up, though. They, they could get lit up. You but I, I feel like they have enough linebackers that can make an adjustments or tell people to get in this position while they block. Yeah, That's yeah. just on the field. You know, you have to go look at the coaching, you right. know what I'm saying, leading up from here on out, actually. Right. So it's like, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. But um, they're definitely going to have to do some getting someone off the waiver eyes. Oh, that brings me to my next thing. Have you seen this? T.O. talking about another comeback like he does every year. But he's actually, like, been calling... Terrell his, Owens? T.O., Terrell Owens from the Eagles. All that. You know, how, how, how old is he now? He's 49. I saw some. Stop T.O., get your, mister, get your popcorn ready, T.O. Stop yeah. it. Yeah, oh, bro. Shit. Right? What? Just look at some of those real quick. But this is real deal. Like, T.O., like, trying to make his way back into this shit. I and mean... I even scroll back so you can Dude, T.O. be playing all yeah. kinds of athletics on a regular basis. I know a girl um, who's chilling with them for a little bit over there. 
in California. Really? And he they were playing basketball. Like Buddy's like Buddy's really trying to stay athletic, bro. That's what I'm saying. I mean like 40, 60, I would love to see it, but I like I feel like he's gonna like hurt himself. Like first play. First play, yeah. First play, bro. I, I mean know. you can train and do the shit you want, but I, unless you actually get lit up like that on a daily day basis. Saying, gonna, yeah. I just thought about this. Did you see the, did you see this tweet? T.O. tweeted because no, someone tweeted. Who is the biggest diva? This is recently. T.O. or A.B. That was a tweet recently. T.O. retweeted and was like, respectfully, but also disrespectfully, we are not even in the same conversation type thing. Hold on. I got to find this. No, no, but it was like, I respectfully, that, but also disrespectfully, nah. I, I did see what you were talking about, but it, it's crazy if that shit actually has a chance. I mean, fuck. NBA's been doing 10 days. <laughs> What's Sign it to bring an old head back? What is it to bring an old head back? Make him sign a waiver. Hey, bro, something really happens. Do it. That's on you. Otherwise, um, come on back. I mean, I think it would definitely, like, I wonder, like, just exactly what he's going to be able to do. Because, like, T.O. never, like, I don't know, like. He's straight, he, that's what I'm saying, field, right? Like, he yeah, was, I'm trying to think. He didn't run no other routes. He didn't do no wheels. He didn't do no ins and outs. He wasn't backs. like a little, like, slot receiver. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, no, he, he has a stature. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. I'm like, bro, he just. It's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be. Tio made the wide wide receiver position look easy, even with a broken ankle. I know. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. He made it look easy with one leg. One of my one of my favorite memories is when he was working out in his driveway that time with the reporters around him, like just bench pressing and shit. Like I I just just that type of shit that I love. Tio the grittiness. Yeah. (laughs) But speaking about uh, people on their way out trying to come back in. Or well, someone out trying to come back in. Let's talk about Big Ben on his way out. He got real emotional, and that bro, he is done. Ben. Yeah, he got real emotional, and so to me, that that shows all signs are it's over. It's over. Yeah, it's over with. Well, Big Ben doesn't strike me as like the staple of health and longevity. No, you know what I mean. So it's Not like at all. for me, I think he's finally just acknowledging that. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm not like like. It's, it's not, for me, it's not like, ah, oh, it's too soon, Ben. I hate to see you go. It's like, yeah, you need to get yes out of let, the league. Let somebody like, else take yeah. raise. It's not like you didn't win a Super Bowl. You know what right. I'm saying? It's not like you didn't have the the support of the fans and, and the coaching staff and your teammates behind you yeah. like your whole career. Right. You know, sometimes you just yeah. got to know when to step down, right? And, like, let these guys catch up because they got to compete now with – Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, and Baker Mayfield. So let them let let them figure out how they're gonna just exactly go about doing that. Because that's still a team. Steelers are still a good team with a bunch of studs on both sides of the ball. Yep. You know what I mean. So they're kind of still a quarterback away from being a a, a, you know a a playoff studs. Not great players, Gordon. We just said studs. Come on, not Najee, Clay. I mean Najee, Najee Harris. That was a great pick. We all we all saw that coming a mile away when they picked him up. Where none of us are surprised about that. The Steelers have always had a decent offensive line, no matter what. Their defense was all right, but it sucked when T.J. Watt wasn't playing. You know what I'm saying? They were literally one of the worst defenses when TJ Watt wasn't playing. Big and you know why? Because they've had him on fantasy. Them the freaking Colts. It was embarrassing. Big facts, though. So it's like, cool, yeah, whatever. But TJ Watt's not perfect. But he got injured like twice, and they've had like several terrible games because of it. So cool. They could get a quarterback, but they still got to probably, you know, amp up that defense a little bit and suck a little oh, less. For, but, for sure. Yeah. I think they really need to go to the linebacker or the, the secondary spot. Um, yeah, big time. Up. Yeah, like just straight up. Their their D lines, it's okay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Just because they have Watt on it, but um, they they can worry about that later. Linebacker, someone who's gonna be a fucking field general, and then you're gonna need like a hybrid zone hog back there somewhere in the secondary. I don't care if he's playing free or strong. Mm-hmm. You just need someone back there because um, this division, well, their division is only getting more and more beefed up on offense. Exactly. So you're gonna have to have someone who's gonna come down and someone who's gonna cover. It. But um. Speaking of coverage, did you see what happened to Jalen Hurts, bro? No. What, you no. Oh, are you talking about when he was leaving the stadium? Yeah. But what happened? No. What happened? Bro, my guy was walking out the stadium, just got a win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At FedEx Field, which is the football team's home stadium. Fans trying to see him, you know, give the high fives after the game. That shit collapsed, bro. The barrier collapsed. Wait, what? Ooh. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I remember seeing did that. You seeing that? 
Yeah, look at Bro, that. I, I saw that down, and I'm just like, yo, that's crazy. They all just basically almost fell on him. I'm like, watch yo. This, watch this right here. Oh. And then he was like, what the fuck do I do? And then start helping him up. But then this is where it gets real dicey. This is where They're it's like, a, a, a concern for his safety at this point. They bro, they started crowding that dude. Yeah, I like, crowned him. They they, the guys him. are crowding him, and they're all like, yo, let's take a picture. But the thing is, I thought it was pretty cool how he kind of bought into it. It was like, all right, yeah, let's take yeah, a picture yeah. and everything. Me, but look how on the that outside dude. of that, looking see in. See how hard that dude so, felt? Yeah, yeah that bro. Hard, bro. Me, outside looking in, it's like, it's, it's cool that he did it, and he probably felt like all right when he was there. But like as a player and as an asset for an organization, all these dudes coming up on you, drunk, probably super excited. Right. Anything's possible. Do falls on his ankle, <laughs> his foot, hit his hand, some accident. Like that is. Or let's you know just take it one step further. Let's let's see if like there was like a opportunist in like a, a bizarre world. You know what I'm saying? Like opportunist. Oh, yeah, I feel finally you. got him. I can yeah. really help my team out. Like yeah. just do something yeah. crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like they definitely need to, to step their shit up. And if if you uh, when you watch that video too, when it's that crazy, when bro. that thing falls, it's basically like six inches away from snapping his ankle like a twig. Right there, like it's right look, there. Look one more right time at there. his reaction, bro. Look how fast he got out the way and just saw that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, go back. There you go. Here it is. Look at this. You see that left? Ooh, yeah, that left his leg left, was his left leg. He was mid step, and he didn't even put his leg down. He just he just moved it up. Yeah, yeah he just, he just moved it, moved it up. Yeah, that's that was, why I was like, bro, this yeah. is scary. So I, I feel him. Then like two seconds later, he's getting hugs. He's just hugging. <laughs> yeah, he did it, man. He did it. Thanks, uh, thanks, guys. Nah, you know what? I like that though. I kind of like that. He, he had to put a good spin on it. I like you know that. You got to put a good spin on it, and also too, like. It's going to be a bad PR look if, like, the fans that are showing up to support, like, all of a sudden you get put, like, in close proximity with them and you're like, who are these people? You know what right. I mean? Like, that's a good that, that's a good look for your quarterback to be like, oh, let me help you up. Hey, what's up, guys? Every, you exactly. know what I mean? Like, Everybody's going to love you. Yeah, him exactly. More. So, yeah, you know what I'm it's a shitty, shitty situation, but I think he, he handled that really well. And then he really handled it really well because I looked uh, the next day, I believe, or two days after that, and he wrote. A letter to the commissioner, to the owners of the football team, and to the owners of the stadium, say, "Hey, I could have really got hurt, but not even me. Other people, like your fans and people who were there to support yeah, me, yeah, could have yeah, got yeah. hurt. So people really like that part a lot too. But football team sucks, bro. <laughs> Just on an all around terrible organization. I know, but they're in the playoffs. Fuck them." <laughs> Fuck they em. are in the playoffs. Fuck them. They I don't want to hear about that they, shit. Not only are they in the playoffs, they are locked the fuck up. They don't even need to worry next they week. They don't. Who thought that... This year, everyone thought the Eagles were the last dead-ass last-place team in that division. One of the worst teams in the NFL. And here they NFC have, least? Literally. Literally, the NFC least. And they got... And now they've got a playoff spot locked up with a week left to go. And they still have clinched it, too. They're still in it. The Eagles are still in it. So it's like, wow. I... I hate to say this, but I guess we were wrong about the NFC East. I guess, well, yeah, I guess we were wrong. Two, two NFC East teams, <clears throat> and there was three in contention. The Washington Football Team is also contention too. So it's like for a team for a division that gets a lot of shit, and like I, I wouldn't have thought of that. I would still say that was probably one of the worst divisions of football, and they still had three teams in contention, it's two tough. teams making it. And that's why I keep. Hey, saying Justin, bro, Justin, tough. watch him out, bro. Watch your mouth. Yep. Washington football team will never be in contention. I don't care what they change their name to next month. <laughs> they will never, ever be in contention for anything. They can be the Washington football team winners, and they would still lose. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, team <laughs> well, that's a, that's a, that. Talk about, like, a team and an organization that suffers just from, like, the whole, like, top-down type of bullshit. Yeah. Like, that's that's one of those things where, like, the, everything is so ass backwards there you almost need to like gut the whole organization you almost need to like just get Oof. rid of the washington football team move them somewhere else Oof. under a new name new team colors new fucking everything like start you, from scratch Jim have you guys seen the in the middle have of you the night seen what they're like talking about like for the new names that yeah, apparently the renegade and the generals what else? What else? I mean, Armada, yeah. President, Brigade, Red Hogs, Commanders, Defenders, and potentially staying at football team. 
apparently. I think they were trying to do Red Wolves, but there's some copyright issues with that. Yeah, I saw that. Like, the yeah. Red Wolves? Wow, who else is the fucking Red Wolves? Um, there's an actual college team. There's some college team that's the Red Wolves, and it's already trademarked, so they can't. You can have that. a name trademarked? I saw some. The trademark, or is it copyright? I can't. I can't. I don't know which yeah, one. Yeah, I don't. Is. I forget which one it is, but there was like an actual. I should have listened more in that business class. <laughs> Man, aren't you in fucking? Well, I mean, uh, I don't even want to get into it. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, regardless, I don't like even like the name Red Wolves. No, I, I think I think that sucks. But yeah, it's just yeah. crazy that it's just, it's, they can't do it. Can't take it. Because isn't there? So, all right, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of who it is. I think. I think I know, but I think there's like only three or four. There's like four nicknames in all of pro sports, like between like the four, like it, like the four or five major sports. That are repeated. Do you guys know what they are? I have no idea. Let me let me let me think. Say it again. Say so it I, one more time. I I remember off the top of my head. I think like two or three of them. But there's basically between like NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, and uh, MLS. There's only four organizations or three organizations. It's three or four that have the same like nickname. Tigers, Lions. Yes, yeah, so like something like that. Bears, yeah, right. Because I think of Detroit Lions. I think of LSU Tigers. I mean, um, you and know, Lions. No, no. So it's I not mean, no, so yeah. Not not including college. Not including college. Oh, it's just including? just professional sports. Oh, so just professional yeah, yeah, sports. Yeah, yeah. I think they said like uh, the Jets is one. Winnipeg. Uh, yep. yep. The, and win, the Winnipeg, Jets, and, yep. and that the Kings is another one. Sacramento and. Uh, LA Kings and NHL, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. And then I, there was like either one or two other teams that repeated, but it's, it's just Bro, funny. It has to be the Cardinals because Arizona Cardinals isn't it the St. Louis Cardinals with the baseball team. What, what team yeah, is oh, that? yeah, 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 yeah. Cardinals, that's yeah. the third yeah, one. Third. And I, so I think there's, I think there's one more out there. It's like a tiger. It's got. It is probably the tri- Tigers because it's probably the Detroit Tigers. It's Detroit it's Tigers. Like, what else? Oh yeah, what that's else? No, it's not. Have LSU, so now we can't be college. Huh? This is a. Is yeah, I think I think there's like one more, and I forget what it is. Shit, if somebody else out there knows it. Yeah, let us comment. let us know. Let us <laughs> yeah, know. phone in, phone in. We'll give you the uh, the edge better hotline. Just phone in, let us go in. We'll be live on it. <laughs> Leave us a voicemail, my guy. Or but, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, a little trivia. We'll have to get back to you what that fourth one was. Maybe it'll think, maybe it'll come to me when I'm it's probably gonna come it. to you. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, That's uh, a little fun fact. Right? But yeah, so I'm curious. I'm curious what they come up with. Um, I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm I'm wondering what organization is going to be next. Who's next? Who's got to change? Who? All right, ready? Let's let's all let's all let's all go around and take a pick for which organization is going to have to change their name next. Who is teetering that offensive line offensive that team? that as soon as we get these friggin' Washington guys out of the way, we're coming for you. Like, like, change it because they have to get because they're going to get canceled, or change it because no, I, they need to like refresh their entire organization. No, back. change it because like you were you were you were like Washington, and they were like, all right, that shit's outdated, and offensive. You got to change it. Like, who are they coming after next? Well, they already the changed Browns, the Cleveland's right. The, well, the Browns, Cleveland, Browns. Browns. The Cleveland Indians. They changed them to the. Well, the e, the, e, the, e, the Indians. They are, to, they, they're, uh, the, they're Galaxy, the Guardians. No, they're the, the Guardians. Guardians. They're the Guardians. I'm call them yeah, the but Guardians that was a shitty. Name. That's a shitty name and a terrible logo. Remember I that? Know, yeah. <laughs> and it's fucking Cleveland. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> On top of that, I don't. Yeah, I don't know who else. Uh, I feel like the Krakens. Bro, the Browns, bro. The Browns. They're they're Louis Brown. I want to keep that. I I like to keep that one. That's time, your team? You know, that every your time team I go take a shit, I'm like, hey, I'm taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. And they always win. <laughs> yes. I was just being real. Well shit. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I can't think of any other team that's hurting like that. I agree with you. I don't know. I yeah. agree with you. I take the Browns. <laughs> there you go. Uh, they always I win. I know about that. <laughs> that's hilarious. I really don't. We gotta, we gotta, um, we gotta come back. With I don't that, know. Bro. Cause it, it, probably the Kings, bro, because the Kings have had a winning basketball season like ever. So you might, they might need to change it up. Let's just call them the Los Angeles or Sacramento Monarchs. The Monarchs. How about that? Monarchs yeah. are better than they are. I mean, guys I, and girls. Included. Someone, someone said that the the London team is going to be the Monarchs. The NFL, the NFL team is going to expand it to London. It's going to be the London That's Monarchs. Fire-ass That's what it's going to be. Yeah. I was just bullshitting. Yeah, That's no, that, a fire-ass name for London. I think they're talking about, because it isn't the plan for someone like Jacksonville or somebody to move there eventually. 
I think they were testing out some markets. It's either that or they were thinking about putting two teams, I think, because they want to see how the test one goes. And if that, let's say Jacksonville, right? (laughs) Yeah. So let's say if Jacksonville goes to London, they're doing all right, whatever, cool. Now they're going to bring another team. So there will be like one in North London, one in South London. Boom, yeah, yeah, have yeah. that little thing yeah, going on be right there. Sick. And then we can even it out right, for the right, playoffs right. and all that shit. But if it goes horribly, horrendously, which I don't think is going to happen. Because I mean, how many years has a fucking league been over in London? It has to be almost like 10 years now, right? We've been going to London for, I think, longer than 10 years, bro. Than 10 I think years? it's longer than 10 all years. Right, yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. We got the fan base over there. So like... If it doesn't go well, then they'll just bring that team back. But I really think that they'll just move Jacksonville, hopefully. Yeah. Please move. Go over to London, see how that shit works out. Boom. Have two teams over there. That's it. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think that'll be some team cool. comes yeah. over there and come back. Yeah. So you. I mean, yo, it, yeah, you know? people want to talk about like, oh, it's London. All right, governor. Yeah, all yeah. that shit. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> it's Harry Logan Paul. Bro, I mean, you ever say Harry Paul? <laughs> That's what we need. We need more NFL players getting interviewed, like just with a thick ass British accent. Just fuck it. <laughs> Boy. Oh, yeah. Like the Cowboys, uh, the Cowboys D line coach during Hard Knocks, dude. Oh, my oh, yeah, God. You're telling us Remember about I was that, telling dude. you that? That's my like Ted Lasso, met- huh? <laughs> dude, it was hilarious. Oh, and so imagine they, imagine they, we get a London team. And it's like, Oi, Mike. You know, my girl last week, she was quite fit. But you know what, man? Harry and Paul, we're going back with some water. Let's go. I'm Come like, on, yeah, boys. yeah, 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 man. Like, fuck, should I be happy or sad about this fucking What play was that? What you, like, huh? That would be I'm like, bro, where am I? <laughs> yeah. No, but I think that would be fire as fuck. I don't know when they're going to yeah. do that, though. But I definitely I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I think they should. I think it'd be cool. Because, yo, it's only like, I mean, from here, from Boston, it's, it's like a six-hour flight. To London, you know what I mean? It's just yeah, as long as it's, it's just, just as long to fly to fucking London as it is like so, the West Coast. London, right? honestly, London's like five hours, honestly, because it took me like six, seven hours to get to France. Yeah, it's so I bad, think bad, it's a little bit closer. Yeah. It's really not that bad, no. But, uh, but, yeah. Hey, but yeah. we're gonna see how that shit goes. What Dude. uh? What else is going on? I mean, like I just we got a lot. Yeah, I was about to say, ahead, what, no, no, I want to hear what you guys say. Because I, I just saw something, too. I'm going to put it after you. Go ahead. I mean, well, you know, I want to give one more quick thing yeah. before we get out, move away from football a little bit. But, you know, shout out to Mike Tomlin, man. First coach yeah. to ever have 15 winning seasons in a row. Think crazy. about that. That shit crazy. No other coach has been able to do that ever. Even with this dog wash of a, you know, Pittsburgh Steelers team, they were able to do it, right? Dog. And it's, it, it's funny, right? Because everyone's congratulating him now, but it's the same guy they were talking to a few weeks ago. He's like, oh, you ever take a college job? Would you ever take a college job? And he's just like, why aren't you asking these other coaches? Why aren't you asking Andy Reid, who was having a bad season at the beginning of the year? Why aren't you asking all these other guys about this job? Why are you asking me about it type of thing? You know what I'm saying? Facts. Wow. But Mike Tomlin, that dude, has done something that no other coach has been able to do in the NFL. So – I'm crazy. He's a, he, should, he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, and people are trying to tell him to go to college. But come nah, on. No, he's he's a, he's a first ballot Hall of for Fame sure. coach for yeah, sure. For uh, sure he is. And I think, and look, it's like I don't care how long you've been there. He's still young. He's still got a lot of fire left in him. Like let that dude stay there. I don't think as long he's fifty won. yet, man. He's not. I don't need that. He, uh, he might be, but I'm not. I'm, if it is, let me look. Really close. Yeah, real. Quick. But all right, hey, here's my question though, because when I heard that stat. About fifteen years without a losing. He's forty nine. Forty nine. Okay, so yeah, yeah, so he's got got ages left. That dude, if he if he if he coaches like as old as like Belichick and some of the dude, like he could own every record in the book by the time really? it's all said and done. Like, yeah, that's what I'm he like, gave himself enough time. You know what I mean? He's been enough, successful enough to this point. But my question was, yep. refresh my memory if there's something I'm missing out on. How did Belichick not have fifteen consecutive years of a winning season when Brady got hurt? But we went eleven and five that year. The year Matt Castle started for us, we went eleven and five. We missed the playoffs. We missed the playoffs. What last year too? But at that point, that should have been like eighteen seasons into it, nineteen seasons into it for Bill. Where did we go? Maybe wrong? even twenty. Was I mean, look, I'm gonna look it up. The Patriots standing like the early two thousands. That he, he was it the was it the two was it the, the two thousand two season? I think it's the season we didn't go. But so uh, that's but that's what I'm saying. So even if it's the two thousand two season, yeah, the year after we won the Super Bowl, there's still like 16, 17 years yeah, that we right, would have. Right. So I'm trying to figure out what that gap is. 
or what that season that we didn't have a winning record was because I can't remember when we didn't have Bro, a winning yeah, record. I'm trying to think. You know? Yeah. I really don't know. <laughs> Anything popping up for you? Hold on. Let me look. So when Tom Brady won. The first one? Uh, oh, wow. Look at this. 11 and 5, 2001. Oh, never mind. They went 9 and 7, 2002. Yeah. So 14 and 2, 14 and 2, 10 and 6, 12 and 4, 16 and 0, 11 and 5, and 6, 10 and 6, 14 and 2, 13 and 3, 12 and 4. That's 10. Yeah. 12 and 4 again. 12 and 4, 12 and 4, 12 and 4, 13 and 3. Ele- that's, that's 15, <laughs> 11 and 5, 12 and 4, and then 2020 went 7 and 9. So that's 17 games. Check your stats, guys. So that's Always check your stats. Are we, are we miss, am I missing? That's kind of weird. Yeah. You know what I'm that's saying? Exactly am I missing something? Like what, this what? is from 2003 to 2019. Were they just saying African American coach? Oh no! Was, was it? Were they, were they, they saying? Say were they saying your first your first fifteen years? Like he went his first fifteen know. years no, in the league? Go try to oh, he was a defensive coordinator before this at the Vikings, right? Who? And he's been oh, here oh, yeah. fifteen years. In the, hold on, let me look at Tom. No, because I because like. Th- Two thousand, like that wasn't Belichick's first year head coaching, like when he was with us. No, it right? wasn't. So, I, if the stat is you had you went for your first fifteen seasons without oh, okay, yeah, a losing record, then sense. that would make yeah, sense. Yeah, 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 that would make sense. But if it was just to go a fifteen year stretch without yeah, a losing season, has been, uh, then that can't. Yeah, that. yeah, it had to have been that part. All right, well, at least we uh, cleared that shit up. All right, yeah, that, that makes. Sense. Yeah, yeah. If you look at it. He's been he was he's been a defensive backs coach, DB coach, defensive coordinator at the Vikings, and then 2007 became the head coach. And since he's become a head coach, that's what it is. He's won 15 in a row. He's that's never true. had a losing season. That's as a head impressive. Coach. That's that impressive. Because really really even the goat, even Bill Belichick, started out with losing seasons, right. and this dude just slid right in there. I was like, like fuck no. it, let's go. <laughs> the cow was like here. Yeah. He was like, hey, Did, am I am I making this up or wasn't? Was was Tomlin's first season Big Ben's first season, and they won a Super Bowl that year? No. Uh, Big Ben's first season was 04 because he came in with Eli and them. Oh, so, okay. So Big- Yeah, Big Ben was with Cower, dude. Okay, when so Cower, so Cower bus, drafted Pines Big Ben. That's, that's what it was. I was like, he was like, Boy, Paul Malo, go so does Tomlin have one ring or two? I believe he has two. I think he has two. But then Big uh, Ben has Super three. Bowl champion, XL3, yeah, two-time yeah. AFC championship. So he's won Super Bowl. Uh, yeah. He had, no, but he's won as a head coach, but one as an assistant coach. Gotcha. Okay, okay, but we're just talking about head coach, so he has a one. One as a head coach. So Big Ben has, has two. two. Yeah. Okay, right, one was the Cower. Okay, that makes sense. There it is. Yeah, because one with Cower when they when they beat the Cardinals, remember? Right, yep. right. Okay, oh, I forgot man, that was, I forgot that was Cowher, Cowher, was like, yeah. I'm going to Disney World. That yeah. was a great ass Super Bowl. You saw James. Was, but like, yeah, how many? Like Super Bowl. Woo-hoo. Oh, yeah. But how many Super Bowls did the Jets win? Ooh. I think they won Super Bowl two, right? They actually did yeah. win a couple Super they Bowls like, Super like Bowl in their two, day, right? but <laughs> it's been a it's been a minute since then. I gotta, I gotta look this up because it was Super, Super Bowl, Bowl three, three, right? Yeah, I knew I was like I knew I, I said two, but hey, three, I'm close. Yeah, my roommate's a Jets fan, and so every time I come in here slandering them, <laughs> it, uh, it's really just to make him feel bad about his terrible my organization. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Pure slander, but also true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man. man. But um Super Bowl three. Dude, yeah, a lot of good stuff with football. Oh, Mike oh. Mike Tomlin, you gave him his love as he deserves. Oh, only coach to ever win fifty seasons in a row. First time coaching as a head coach. But you know, I wanna I, mean, I wanna, you know, we're in the trenches right now, right? Yeah. We, we yeah. like to talk about what's kind of going behind the scenes and we get into a little bit of the drama. I like, to, I like to sip on some tea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's hear the tea. So what's been going on over here at the UFC standpoint? You know Jake Paul, right? Yeah. He's been winning his UFC, his boxing matches. He's talking about doing UFC, this, that, and the other thing. And he loves chirping people because, you know, the more he chirps, the more people look at his stuff and comes after it. But this guy started chirping the wrong dude. 
starts going up to Dana White, oh, telling him right, he right, does right. cocaine, <laughs> telling him this, and Dana White, and Dana White. It's been a whole thing. And so it, what happens is because apparently he was working with Dana White's old, one of his old accounts that was helping him like put together the UFC and all that stuff. And they were talking about, oh, we would put a better, put together a, a better um, organization. We'd probably treat our player, we treat our guys better. We would give them more health and this, that, and the other thing. And uh, Dana White does cocaine. And then uh, Dana White comes on and literally does a video. It's just like, uh, hey, yeah, I don't do cocaine. I'm clean, buddy. Trust me, ask any one of these guys and come back to me. Not we treat them all fairly. We pay them. We pay them all correctly. This, that, and the other thing. Mm. How about this, right? You know, if you guys, if you, I know the person you're talking about, and there's a reason why he's no longer working with me. He's working with you, because you know what, he's a scumbag. But you know what, you guys, it's easy. Start your own organization. Let me know how that goes. It's easy. You can start it up. We'll see how that goes. But one thing, let's do a wager. Within over the next, I think is over the next couple of years. At any time, we can do a random drug test. Me for cocaine, you for steroids. You take steroids. Uh, was it? And the only reason why you're winning is because you're you're a steroid guy. That's it. And so they he put up his ultimatum. He's like, yeah, you've been talking all this talk, but hey, if you want to put your money with a mouth to this, let's do it. Anytime, random drug test. You restores me for cocaine. Let's see who. Let's see what the truth really lies. So it's it's crazy. Oh, and even he came out. The thing is, after that. Facts. And after that, I didn't ever heard a single thing about Jake Paul. I could be missing because I was in Africa, but it's been pretty quiet. You know that's, what I'm saying? That's both dudes looking at each other like Dana White's like, damn, he knows I do cocaine. And Jake Paul's like, damn, he, he knows, knows I, I do steroids. steroids. <laughs> like, all right. Truce, truce. All right, call my bluff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> truce. All right, man. You got me. No, honestly, you know, they're, they're, uh, well, and Gordon, am I wrong? It didn't, because Jake Paul. Basically put out a statement being like, hey, he, he put out like a list of demands on behalf of UFC fighters, right? It was like, hey, uh, Dana White, if you like fulfill these like requirements, like give your fighters X amount of like pay-per-view sales, like do this, this and that, all this shit, uh, I will retire from boxing, sign a one fight contract with the UFC and fight Masvidal. That's cool. Yeah, He's trying to get uh, that's what he, that's what he told him he would do, shit, yeah. and he was like, it's, "It's it's your move." So, I did Dana did Dana White respond to that? So, from my understanding, I think how he went on about it was a little bit different from what it kind of looks up because I think he tried to go in as like a white knight, as like a hero, like, "Oh, you're not paying your players enough. Oh, you should pay your players this. You should be doing this, that, the other thing." And I will sign a deal and go to UFC, but it was just like. Dana Waits, I, I feel like he came with the approach like, who the fuck are you, buddy? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're Jake Paul. You want a couple boxing matches with whoever. Who are you to tell me, Dana White, how I should run my USP organization? You know what I'm saying? And so it's like, you can come. I I mean, I'd look into it a little bit more. But from my understanding, he tried to he tried to come in as like a high horse. But Dana White's like, nah, bro, you're not going to come in as a hero. You're a scumbag. And you work with scumbags. Don't try to tell me how to run my shit. <laughs> Damn! Oh man, I really want to go look at all this because there is animosity. You keep this. Everyone should be watching this right now. It's it's actually so funny because I'm I'm yeah. want to see how this turns out or if Jake Paul even come responds to it. I want to actually. I might look up. Did has Jake Paul respond to that video? This is some fucking some shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. But hey, you wanna do what it do? You wrap it up. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I just wanted to give a real quick shout out before we do that. To a guy that shaped my childhood that we all lost, John Madden. Everybody used to play hey. those Madden games coming up. I, I remember my first copy that oh, yeah. I actually got for Christmas and it made my fucking day was uh, the 04 Madden with Vic on the cover. Yeah. I got that for my very first Christmas uh, moving down to Georgia. And from then on, that's been a tradition with me and my mom. She'll always get it for me every Christmas. And um, it's just sad to see that dude go. He was a, a legend, an icon. Very much so. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Gordon? Yeah. That John Madden was a big one. But you know who I'm really going to miss? Someone who was an icon. Say it. For many, many years. Say it. On all over the place, globally. One of the most popular people in the right entire right. world. Get the cheesecake right Betty White. I'm going to miss right. her, man. Get I'm going to miss Betty White. Right. 
<laughs> she was two weeks away from making to a hundred years old, and now she. They're like, nah, man, we're gonna take you on New Year's. It's crazy. Hate to see that. You do hate to see that. That's how you become a real comedian, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be like, hey, I'm about to turn a hundred, guys. Watch out for me. That's boom. I'm dead. I now I'm watch me. Yeah, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I That's know. That's a fucking punchline right there. If I've ever heard one. So shout Bro, out to that lady. Shout out Betty White. Betty. Yeah. I think that was so crazy because, like, and what I, I I I read something somewhere that her dying on New Year's was one of the most clicked things uh, for like I forget how long, but it was like the most like click death of like the last like couple of years. I'm like, that's crazy. What do you mean click? Like, click, 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 click I mean, she was phenomenal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I got clickbait. You. Like, oh, everybody yeah. Was, oh, everyone knew Betty White. Everyone loved Betty everybody, White. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, she was, one, she was the last surviving golden girl. Come on now. I know. You don't know who Betty White is? That's She's crazy. the best. I know. You know what's Jeff. even crazier real quick? Fun fact about that. She was like either the oldest or second oldest on that I show. Know. The I second know. oldest. Say the second oldest. The grandmother. The grandma. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that exactly. little short one. Yeah. Bro, yeah. she is younger. She gave the one too, right? She was the younger one. The grandma? No, the no, no. The smaller one. I looked at the thing. No, no, no. Not, not in the girls. Not oh, in the girls. Yeah, yeah. The mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, like, it was, uh, it was uh, one of their mothers. Yeah, yeah, She was like really yeah. Yeah, tall. Okay. But, but yeah, it was crazy fact. But yeah. but yeah. No, definitely crazy. Lost two good ones. And the uh, Pat Reeves. Yep. Former NFL coach, one of the all time greats. Dan Reeves? Dan Reeves. Dan, Dan Reeves, Reeves. Sorry, Dan Reeves. Yeah. Uh, he passed away too. One piece of good note, good news I'll end it with because I just got a notification that he was a full participant at practice. Not biased because he's in my dynasty team and I'm keeping him in my other league and nothing like that. Oh, yeah. But after five months, only five months of tearing, uh, from tearing his Achilles, Cam Akers, a full participant at the Rams practice. Oh. So I just want to say that was that used to be an injury, you know, that ended athletes' careers. Yeah. And you were very lucky to come back from that. I remember when Emmanuel Sanders tore his Achilles, everyone was like, he's never be back. And then it was a shock that he came back, and luckily he's still playing. But Cam Makers went down. And even as a young, healthy dude, people still said, wow, that could be like a career changer yeah. for him. And here he is, still same calendar season. And this boy is back, a full yeah, participant Cam. of practice. You're probably going to see him, honestly, uh, even if he doesn't play Week 17, you might even see him in the playoffs. And I just think that's great that that dude was able to uh, make a recovery like that Excellent. from what used to just be a, a, a devastating career injury to your career, you know? Hey, hey Justin, I got I to gotta, I gotta ask a quick question because, you know, yeah. uh, after I lost, you know, not making the playoffs this year for fantasy, I deleted the app. I was like, you know what? Season's over. It's fine. But who did lose? Who came in last place, Justin? Was it who me? It? it wasn't me. I didn't look either. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't have the app. I actually, hold on. I'm a, let me look right now because I don't know. Check it, check it. Please check who's in last place. Because from it, my understanding, me? you're doing a punishment this season. So, punishment. do we give the punishment up to the fans to did decide? You, did you delete yeah, the app too? No, I got it. I was I'm about to say, I'll tell you real I, quick. Uh, was it me? I ain't gonna say I'm gonna let you find that shit, bro. I, just know it wasn't it was me. Me. I, I really hope it's Justin. It was I, I really did delete the app. That was it terrible. was me, yeah. It was me. Oh, you lost. <laughs> yeah. What a loser. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah, I can't <laughs> This is so crazy because I can, you know, look at this. This is this is the the second league that I was in this year that look at I, I my, look at my points against. I got I got over two thousand points against the next closest person has 18,000 or 1,800 something. I got 1,500 more points scored on me in this league than anybody else. Jesus Christ. I got rocked. I got rocked. God. But yeah, I finished last Jesus Christ. 311. In, my, in the Dynasty League, I lost a heartbreaking championship matchup this past week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Shout out Fat Matt, boy. I hey. traded him Joe Mixon, man. That shit came to fruition, so my uh, uh, shit's going to do what it do next year. But yeah, facts, facts. Say about it. <laughs> yep. facts, facts. But hey, so hey Justin I'm and the coming. fans, we're going to have to start figuring out a punishment for you guys moving man. forward, I guess. Huh? Uh, I know. Man. I know. We got a... Uh, we got next year though. We got next year. We got next we year. We got next year. That's we got next year, and we also got next episode. We're yes, about sir. to uh, to wrap it up. Any final thoughts? How do you guys? I'm done. I'm Gucci. Um, it is colder 
in New York than it is Africa. That is a thought that I've had today. A lot colder here. Are you surprised? No, but concerned if you were going to be surprised about that. I was, about to say, All right, buddy. I was chilling. It was nice, and then I came here, and it's cold. So that that's my final thought of the night. Just want to throw that out there for the boys. Yeah. Well, love to hear it. Yeah, it's free. No, it actually, it actually is mad cold. Like I, I, it's it, the last couple of days has been colder here than I remember being yeah. this whole winter. Yeah. So, right. yeah, everyone, stay warm, stay safe. We'll catch you guys. This is episode twenty one of the trenches. We'll catch you guys next week with episode twenty two. In the meantime, Don Gordon, SK, Jay Fine. We'll catch you guys. Peace. Easy.